Kwazwa ivano vamwari tino fara kusangana zvakare pachirongwa The Spirit of Prophecy 
ame host evangelist marufu episode ya tri kuenda episode number 4 uh, which is a very very important episode nekuti icha addressa issue uh, ye yeah, the greater light versus the lesser light uh, takatari sana nezvinyorwa zva LNG white we understand kuti pane hutaurwa kawanda pamsoro pema writings a Ellen white kana achikombewa ne bible shokora mwari vamwe vanoti ma writings a Ellen white rito ri bible pacharo eh imwe pfungwa iri po inotwa nwamwe ndi kuti ayo eh Ellen white pa ari kunyora ari kukomenda zvakanyorwa bible vamwe vanoti Ellen white pa ari kunyora zva ari kunyora zvina ukama ne bible shokora mwari So I saw that the Tarisa and the lesson you know it is very important. Kana tichi Tarisa ma writings a Ellen G White tinofana kugona kukombea ma writings a Ellen G White ne basa riri kuitwa na John the Baptist. Ne kuti John mbabatidzi basa rari kuita ndiro basa chairo rakaitwa ne ma writings a Ellen G White na iye Ellen G White pachati. Ne kuti tine zvimwe zvinhu zvacha Tarisa tichikombea sekuti mfananidzo iripo Johann Mbapatidzi ari kuya pari kunozadziswa time prophecy ye 70 weeks Sir Ellen White akauyao pakazadziswa time prophecy ye 2300 days Johann Mbapatidzi ari kuya kuzopefu mabasa remporofita asi Jesu achitaura anoti Johann Mbapatidzi anopfura kwazvo mporofita kuti basa rakaitwa na Johann Mbapatidzi ibasa rakakura kupfura basa raitwa nema porofita kubva ku Old Testament ndiro baso zvakare rakaitwa na Ellen G White anoti basa rake rakaita rinopfura e basa e remporofita au read a quotation ya anotaura pana pa e anoti e Ellen White e I have spoken to us through the testimonies of the church and through the books that have helped to make plain our present duty and the position that we should occupy eh uh, and my commission embraced the work of a prophet but it does not end there it embraces much more than the minds of those who have been sowing the seeds of unbelief and comprehend saka kuti basa rangu rinopfura basa rekungova muprofita bedzi sa Johani basa rake raingopfura basa rekuva muprofita wakaverenga John eh, chapter 10 inotaura kuti Johani haana kuita chiratidzo haana kuperforma any miracle even Ellen G White haana kuperforma any miracle so you can even easily compare John the Baptist and Ellen G White ukatarisa zvakare uchaona kuti Johani mbabatidzi period yar kumutswa pakati pema Israelites ari kuya kanangana ne the nation of Israel for six months John uh, the Baptist is preaching ari pa river Jordan achiparidzira ma Israelites ndo chaona kuti Johani ngova yari kusimuka ari kusimuka after period ye dark ages nekuti from Malachi kusvika patinoona Johani mbabatidzi pane period ye 400 years that period iyo yo i period ye spiritual declension apo tinoona ma Israelites ari kupinda mu dark age period kaverenga zvinonzi there was no voice of god rakanzwikwa pakati pevana kumana vanhu ukaverenga zvinonzi there was no uh, angel visitation ya kaone kwa from heaven ngirozi chiya chitaura eh, nevanhu ukaverenga ndo period yakamuka varume vaivane nharo vana Antiochus Epiphanes ndo nguva yakanyorwa eh, ma books na the Maccabees ndo nguva yakamuka group rewa Farisi vakanga vachigadzira vachidistorta zvidzidzo zvakazvapiwa Israel pachena nezvafana kuchengeta saka period ye 400 years e Israel iri kubuda mo period of dark ages Johann Mbapatidzi you can take that information where nayo kuna Ellen White Ellen White paari kusimuka hapa na 1844 achi receive her first vision uchaona kuti vanhu vanga vane 46 years vabuda mu period of dark ages nekuti church yakanga iri mu period of dark ages 1260 years church iri mu period of dark ages a eh, heresy yakawanda yakamuka kuti irasise vana vamari Ellen G White 
ndo pa ari kusimuka ari kusimuka nao kuti aite basa guru rekudzorera vanhu back to the original plan ya mari kudzorera vanhu back to the original eh, testament inofana kutendwa eh, nevari va mari se basa guru rakaitwa na Joanne Mbapatidzi we can actually see kuti ukaverenga mazuwa a Joanne Mbapatidzi Jesu ano toti musafunga para John chapter 5 kuti nchakupa imosha and this is nchakupa imosha as ndiye Moses wamakatenda maari nekuti dai maitenda Moses munga dai maitenda mandiri kana musinga tende manyoro ake munga tenda seiko mashoko ako saka zvinoro kuti ma Israelites bible vanga vaina ro but vanga vasika gona kunzwisa zvakanyorwa na Moses in bible saka Jesus ari kuti eh bible munaro ukatoverenga pane mama verse anoti munonzwera magwaro nekuti munoti upenyu usinga pere ndo mauri saka ma Israelites vai verenga shoko but vai rasika mubukura mak anoti vabvunza muna kurasika here nemhaka yekusanzwisi samagwaro ne simba ra mwana Israel Bible yanga ine Bible but yanga isa understand with Bible not kudi kwairi ukaverenga even Jesus pa akapinda eh, mutembo pana Luke chapter 4 zvinonzi akaverenga book ya mprophet Isaiah mweya washe uri pamusoro pako akandituma kuti ndiparidzire varombo ivhange apedza akapeta book akagara pasi akatiru gwaro uru rwazadziswa nasi hanzi church haina kutenda yakadaona mukanda kumawe crowd church yakanga ine ma prophecies church yakanga ine ma principles church yakanga ine mutemo church yakanga ichiziva kokuenda but church yakanga isinga gona kutedzera zvakanyorwa mepo iripo ma time prophecies aripo but church yanga yakarasika why because yanga iri kubva mu period of dark ages saka patiri kuona Ellen White achuya ari kuperform same basa rekudzorera vanhu vapinda mu dark age period shoko vanga vainaro but iko zvino vakutenda kuti sabata risina basa shoko vakanga vainaro but havacha babatidze vanhu vachinyudza kamwe chete mvura vakuita baptism yeku sprinkler shoko vakanga vainaro but vakutenda kuti vakafa vane chavano ziva shoko vakanga vainaro but vakuti chekudyira achisvibise shoko vakanga vainaro but vakuna matamu vachitenda kuti munhu anogona kuva regirira zvivi saka Ellen White ari kuya kuzopfefa mabasa kuti Israel idzokere back pana mwa saka uchaona kuti kanorenga John chapter 5 Jesu achitaura pamusoro pa Johann Mbaptist Arnold Johann Mbaptist akanga ari a lesser light rino leader one to the greater light who is Jesus saka Johann basa rake ari kuya kuzoita He is a lesser light there no prepare vanhu kuti vaende towards the greater light who is Jesus saka Johann ukaverenga zvinonzi aitaura nevanhu pari pajoda na achiti ndini izwi rinodada riri murenji ndiri kuti makomba ese akufana kufusirwa nzira dzese dzakabenda dzakufana kuswatanotswa Johann mbapatidzi anotaura kuti zvandiri kuita zvindo zvakanyorwa na mprophet Isaiah hallelujah crowd Johann ari kuti nyaya ndiri kuita panapa ndura kuti munzwisise zvakanyorwa na Isaiah saka Johann aidzorera vanhu back ku shoko ravari kutadza kunzwisisa Johann haasikuya nezvinhu zvichi Johann haasikuti zvakanyorwa na Isaiah zvisina basa but Johann ari ku complimenta zvakanyorwa na Isaiah kuti Israel igona kunzwisisa kuti pakati pawo pane makomba kuti pakati pawo pane nzwi pane nzira yakabenda isina kuswatanuka ndo basa rimwe chete riri kuitwa na Ellen White Ellen G White ukatarisa ma writings ake haasikuya ne Bible itsva a uh-uh. a Ellen White ari kuya kuzocomplimenta zvakanyorwa kuti gono kuna sonzwisisa kuti pane makomba ne puppet fusire kuti kana iri nyaya music tigono kufusira pane music ya parara kana iri nyaya dressing tigono kufusira gomba re dressing radzika rigone kuya ri telephone kana papa kabenda when it comes to leadership Ellen White ari kuya kuzosukwatanudza kuti leadership izive kuti Israel inofana kufamba sei kana iri nyaya ye language Ellen G White ari kuya even my places of gathering Ellen White ari kuya kwete nezvinhu zvitsva but ari kuya achitiratidza principle yatachikora iri mushoko basa ra Ellen G White ndo basa rimwe chete rakaperforma na Joanne Mbapatidzi saka Ellen White ari kuti ndiri kuenda I'm a lesser light that is leading you to the greater light ndo ndo kuverenga a quotation inonyora na Ellen White on this point ano ano taura mashoko akadzama zvikuru e eh, mubukuru nonzi selected message pa page 30 Ellen White ano tie little heed is given to the bible and the lord has given a lesser light to lead men and women 
to the greater light saka elin white ari kuti shoko ra mwari riripo but vanhu because havachina mukana kuri virenga kana kuri tedzera mwari aona zvakafanira kusarudza kuti atipe a lesser light zvinyorwa zvake ma writings ati kuti ati lead to that greater light by bir shoko ra mwari we can't despise the writings of elin white that is a great gift from the father kuti zvakanyorwa mushoko kana zvinge zvatiomera tinodzoka back my writings are Ellen White. Oti patsira kukumblimenda zvati sina kugona kunzwisa pataverenga the greater light. Nekuti mwedzi unotiratidza kuti zuva ririko. Zvakaoma kurerega kuti trust. Light ra uri kuona pamwedzi because mwedzi kuti one light. Chiedza cha chiri kubva kuzuva. Saka hapana zvatiri kuona my writings are Ellen White. Zviri kupokana nezvemushoko ra mwari. Ukaona munhu anoti Ellen G White akanyora zvinopesa na mwari munhu iye haana kuverenga. My writings are Ellen G. White. Get in the mari. Ne presentation ya Joanu Mbapatizi because inu tiratita. Kuti Israel inu fana kutzoka back kuhushe because the gospel of John the Baptist ya itende uka ene kutu ufuwa mwari wa swedera. The gospel of John the Baptist ya itawara kuti muna nufana kubapatizi kwa kuti hako nukusanga na Messiah. Ellen White did the same. The gospel of Ellen G. White ili kutu uza utu initu preach the three angels message. Nekuti ndo ino tendi, nekuti ino tiyo ya kwa nanguwa kutiparidze vangeri. Nekuti nguwa ya kutunga kwa kia shika. Na matai ii ya kasika denga ninika. Negungwa na matzime ya mfana. Ellen G. White, ndia arukutu uza kuti, we must baptize. Nekuti kana kusina kubabadzi wa mwana. Hago na kusanga na ushu wa mwana. Let us read and trust the writings of Ellen G. White and it shall be well with us. My writings of Ellen G. White are this Bible. My writings are Ellen White, I ask you to pay for it. But my writings are Ellen G. White, I don't compliment her. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it again. Jesus. 
Yesu rindi one sendi kuenga
fukitaini anondi fukitaini anondi fukitaini anondi fukitaini Everyone is born extraordinary but some choose to live ordinary lives. These were the words of Tadiwa Nashe Mavetera as he was about to disembark the podium at Ruya Adventist High School during an event celebrating his success. Before we get to that, let's take a moment to get to know him better and also find out what other people had to say about him. Hello, my name is Tadiwa Nashe Mavetera and I am 19 years old. I chose to, to learn my secondary education at Rui Adventist High School because I am a strong believer in the importance of Adventist education. The philosophy of Adventist education is a broad approach that encompasses the total aspects of a human. It teaches the head, the heart, and the hand. And in so doing, it fully prepares an individual both to be successful in this world and at the same time preparing those individuals for the world to come. So I chose Rio Adventist High School for my secondary education. There's not a day that goes by that I regret coming to this school. I love this school so much. so happy and I'm so thankful to God for giving me the ability to attain these results because without him I don't think that these results would have been capable of being acquired. Tadiwa is a very brilliant student, a genius so to say, uh, as testified by his performance in attaining 10 A's at A level. However, personally according to my assessment, uh, I could probably say 50% of the A's came from his natural intelligence but certainly that 50% would come from his hard work. Tadiwa came to Ruya in 2017 in Form 1, and right from the first day, wherever he would go for a school function or, or any program, you would see him carrying a, a pen and a small diary to write some notes. Uh, I remember some time when there were visitors from the Solus University who came for a, prog uh, for, for a program that they were carrying out a school, Tadiwa could answer questions that the A-level students could not be able to answer when he was just in Form 1. I believe that the success, the secret behind Tadiwa's success uh, are out of his attributes. Tadiwa, number one, is a very hard-working boy, very determined, self-disciplined, and above all, very loyal. We congratulate Tadi for these uh, results which are outstanding and which have broken the national record. And uh, we are really proud as the Adventist education to be associated with him. This is the uh, culmination of uh, educating the head, the heart, and the hand. And we are also very thankful to the members of staff from this school for working hard to support him. Remember, uh, he had only three teachers assigned to him, but was doing ten subjects. It means the other teachers uh, were supporting him in subjects which they are not uh, getting paid for. I'd love to thank my parents and my family for all the support and the love that they gave to me. They kept encouraging me, Tadi, you can do it. Don't worry about the challenges you might face. Keep pushing on, keep having faith in God and you'll achieve this. My little brother kept egging me on, Tadi, don't worry, keep working hard, keep praying, God is faithful. And my parents kept saying the same thing as well. So I'd love to thank and appreciate their love and support to me. Um, from here on out, I wish to pursue quantum physics 
and as well as incorporate it into, co into computer science to revolutionize the world of technology and as well as the world of computing so that um, we can make life easier for people as well as develop new technology that might seem to be fiction right now who will soon become a reality in the next three or five years. While at Rio Adventist High School, I was um, elected to be the captain, commonly termed as the head boy at other schools, and I was also elected as a junior elder. Um, some might think that these two posts are very cumbersome, but I enjoyed the privileges as well as the responsibilities that came with them. As the captain of the school, I had to oversee all the students as well as the prefect body, ensure that the school is clean, ensure that everything is running s smoothly, and to maintain a strong and proper relationship between the student body as well as the staff of the school. I had to also monitor my prefects, those my subordinates, to ensure that they perform their duties properly and that the school maintained a conducive environment for study, to allow students to excel in their studies. As an elder, I would tend more to the spirituality of my fellow peers. My duty was to make sure that if anyone faced a challenge spiritually, if anyone had a question about Bible doctrine or church doctrine, they would come to me and I would be prepared to explain anything to them using the Bible and the Bible alone so that they can get a thorough explanation and help their spirituality, spirituality improved. Um, I was uh, appointed to teach the Bible doctrinal manual class at school. These are un commonly the form ones because they are the new students at the school and they are the ones that usually, uh, they are the ones that get baptized when they come to school. So it was my duty to teach them and it was a pleasure teaching this class. They were very productive, they were very interactive and they, we had a very fun time together learning more about the Bible. And they could come to me at any moment to ask anything and I would be very happy to tell them about the Bible. I wouldn't mind um, putting my, my schoolwork aside to cater for church business or to cater for spiritual matters because I strongly believe that once you do God's work for him, he will do your work for you as well. Um, while it might seem a bit odd for an individual to do 10 subjects, many tend to think that if you are doing so many subjects at A level, you say they want to sacrifice something, and usually people think that you would end up sacrificing your, your social life, but that wasn't the case with me. I made sure to maintain my friends, my social life, despite having such a large amount of studying to do. I kept my friends close, I kept interacting with people. As the captain of the school, I had to be a social individual to allow even the youngest form ones to come and approach me if they should face a challenge, as well as to help my peers wherever, wherever they need help with. So I strongly believe that um, the social side of an individual is important. And I believe that man was created to be a social being by God. Thus I valued my social life and made sure that it was kept. Because without a social life, I wouldn't be able to fulfill the responsibilities and the duties that had been ascribed to me by the school authorities as well as the church. Um, I'd love to attribute my A-level success as well as my O-level success to the staff, both teaching and non-teaching staff at Rui Adventist High School. The teachers helped me so much during my learning courses. They would assist me. I think it's quite unorthodox for an individual to take up 10 subjects. The usual is three and a maximum of usually four or five. But then my teachers, despite their heavy loads and their own workloads, they would make time to assist me whenever I came to them. Ma'am, help me with this, sir, help me with this. They would take time and help me out, and I truly appreciate that. I don't think this result would have been possible without the help from my loving teachers and supportive administration as well as staff. In a bid to inspire other students, Ruya Adventist High School decided to honor Mavetere having his portrait on the school bus for the rest of the year 2023. The school, in conjunction with Fossil Group of Companies, organized a function to honor the 12 candidates who were top achievers with 15 points and above in the recent A-level examinations. The recent examination saw the best ever quality since the inception of the school and a pass rate of 98%. Officiating at the event, this is what the group HR for the Fossil Group, Mr. Garura, had to say. If anyone ever doubted Adventist education, 
and I'm, I'm saying this passionately uh, because I'm also a product of one. Mm. If you ever doubted Adventist education, then I, I don't because uh, I'm also a result. And uh, I think the Tadio Anashe and this other colleagues have just demonstrated that. Mm. I, I was saying uh, just before we, 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 we started here that uh, we, we obviously... Uh, I visited this place in 1983. Mm -hmm. And uh, 83, I think 84. I think it's 84. And uh, when it was, you know, when I was at Nyazura, and we were sent here just to encourage the student that had just started. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and for me to see the development that has taken place here, it's really just humbled, heartwarming to me, and, and, and obviously uh, to. But I also just want to appreciate, I know, uh, uh, Innocent, um, you have been. Uh, uh, introduced uh, 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 from Lafage, uh, where a group, uh, big company, uh, Nyasha Rushwaya from uh, Fossil Agro is here, and, and the ladies, uh, uh, we have an HR manager from uh, Lafage as well, uh, uh, Mrs. Kabudura. The fact that we're all here, I think it just shows the, the seriousness and how impressive we've been by what has taken place. Uh, and I just want to say thank you, colleagues. These are busy people who have left their offices eh, for the entire day to be with us here. And I think uh, someone says they can, you can get anything else but anyone's time. So when someone gives you their time, they've given you their life. So, so thank you very much. And I also want just to appreciate the teachers uh, here and the recipients of the scholarship that you are going to get and the representative uh, from the teaching staff and non-teaching staff here present. Um, and uh, obviously, ladies and gentlemen, esteemed guests, we are gathered here in Mashanon Central Province today to witness yet another milestone being carried out by a local conglomerate company playing its part in the educational sector by sponsoring six students at the Rural Adventist Secondary School, a church run <laughs> school by the North Zimbabwe Conference of the Seventh day Adventist Church. The fossil group represented by fossil contracting, fossil agro, and our new kid on the block, uh, Lafarge Cement, which is now rebranded to be Kaya Cement, is a local company employing a huge number of locals across the different professions and backgrounds. While our participation in the social and economic development of this country uh, is apparent, we have taken a prudent decision to play our role in the education sector which, as we all know, secures our future development by assisting and adding on skills development. We firmly believe, and correctly so, that helping our standing and sometimes disadvantaged peoples, including the girl child, mm. is not just the preoccupation of the government through the, ministry, the parent ministry and other intervention schemes like the BIM, but a moral duty of any responsible corporate citizen. The consciousness of self develop to, to self-develop and support our country in its development of agenda is a new narrative and a clarion call for the corporate world to not only be relevant to the country's needs and challenges, but also to be significant enough to leave a legacy. What we have done and continue to do in this country is there in the open space for everyone to see. We are not apologetic about our success and milestones as we have done all what we have done using the local personnel, local resources, and under sometimes very strange circumstances. We as a group, uh, through some of our operations, continue to defy the odds and register milestones others can only envy, but which history will inevitably record. We have decided to take this step, step as a pest setters in the hope that like-minded captains of industry will follow suit. This huge step in human capital development is seeing us today giving Ruya Adventist secondary school students who set their examinations last year as, and passed a full scholarship to any local tertiary institution of their choice until they finish their undergrad. 
Dr. Diwana Shemavetera, who was also in the company of his father, had this to say. It's an honor for me to stand before you. And um, as my colleagues said, <laughs> they presented wonderful speeches telling the story of Puya. Their story is also my story. There is one individual we should all thank for this auspicious event, and that is the Almighty. It is only through His grace that we manage to pass. It is only through His grace that we manage to succeed in our studies. It is only through His grace that no one faced extreme challenges whilst writing. This past day cannot be attributed to human effort alone. It cannot be attributed to the effort of our outstanding teachers. It cannot be attributed to the determination of our administration. It cannot be attributed to our non-teaching staff members who helped us in our daily lives. But all of this success is attributed to God. Amen. So, my first individual to thank is God. And God alone. <clears throat> I'd like to quote Napoleon Bonaparte. Napoleon Bonaparte says, Veni, visi, vedi. That is Latin for, I came, I saw, and I conquered. Those were very strong words from a mighty general. But then the quote that intrigues me most about Napoleon is this quote. Listen to the determination of a powerful man, the determination of a leader, the mentality that each and every individual here present should possess within their life. Napoleon says, I am a monarch of God's creation, and you reptiles of the earth dare not oppose me. I render an account of my government to none save God and Jesus Christ. This is the statement of a brilliant man. Regardless of his um, belligerent behavior, he was a mighty leader. And he subjected all his successes to God and to God alone. If a power-hungry war maniac such as Napoleon Bonaparte could account his life to Christ, what more you and I, Christians of the Almighty? I'd love to thank my parents. From an early childhood, they brought me thus far. They encouraged me. They gave me support when none else could. From an early age, I would like to, to testify. The first prayer that my mom taught me wasn't Namatwech um, Kaf. The first prayer that my mom taught me was And I'd love to thank God that um, that prayer was answered only to show that God is a mighty God and a God who answers prayers. Not just my prayers, but your prayers as well. Tell God what you want him to do for you in your life. My fellow, my fellow colleagues mentioned here that we should not underestimate the power of God. We should not underestimate the God who created the infinite cosmos and all the celestial bodies there present. Allow me to give you an analogy of how great and how mighty our God is. Did you know, in the sun, you can fit 1,000 Earths within the sun? I want you, to, I want you to, to picture how big the sun is. Now, come with me. Uh, think of the sun as this, um, this sound system here. Right? There's a star in our galaxy called Canis Minoris. Canis minorities compared to the sun is like comparing this item to me. To Canis, major, to Canis minorities, there is another star named Acturas. When we compare Acturas to Canis minorities, it is like comparing me to the dynamo. But all these stars, all these great bodies were created by God. The same God who created you the crown and the jewel of creation. Amen. That same God can still empower you. That same God can answer your prayers. That same God 
can allow you to achieve what others claim to be impossible. I want to acknowledge my teachers. Yes, you are professors. Yes, you are mighty educators. But when I look at you, the first thought that comes to me is that you are great Christians. I am reminded of a time, 2020, during COVID, the rest of Zimbabwe's teachers were on strike. They refused to teach, but a true year teachers came. Amen. They would come even during study times at night to teach us. That alone showed me how great our teachers are. Yes, they give us work. Yes, they give us a lot of stuff to do, but that is only to improve us. When our teachers look at us, we're like diamonds in the rough. Diamonds in the rough don't shine unless they are scrubbed and polished, which is a very difficult process. So do not fear the, the kind of fairness that the teachers put you in, it's because they know the potential that you hold. So when they give you that hard work, when they give you those intense tests, take them with a smile, know that they are, knowing that they are perfecting you. I'd like to thank you teachers for your efforts. None of this would have been possible without you. Let's give them a round of applause. It is my prayer that uh, within the next 10 or 15 years, I'll be able to return and get you all cars. <laughs> In addition, we'd like to thank our administration Arranging our school timetables, arranging the running of the school, it's not an easy feat. It's not an easy feat. I'm listening to a student telling that they want to write 10 subjects, telling that they want to write 5 subjects, 4 subjects. When you hear of other students elsewhere failing to manage those subjects. But then our administration, our teachers had faith in us. Faith that we could achieve all that we desired in the name of Jesus Christ. And I would like to thank them for their faith in us and their faith in God. I'd also love to acknowledge our SDC committee. They made life at Fria better. They stood in for us as our loving parents to make sure that, we, to make sure that our time at Fria became enjoyable, to make sure that our lives at Fria became easy, so that such grades could be attainable. I don't think this grade would have been attainable if we starved. I don't think this grade would have been attainable if we slept on the ground. But then thanks to their hopes, of our SDC committee, they made our life here okay and comfortable. Thank you so much to our parents and our SDC committee. But you do realize that no success comes without some shortcomings and challenges. There were a lot of extenuating circumstances that affected us all. I think my fellow colleagues could agree. There is the common problem that's, um, that's not we face as a whole, the problem of electricity. Sometimes you'd have a major exam, then electricity goes away. Many a time, we would study the torches throughout the night. And I think you all understand how difficult it is to study the torch. And you can see the darkness around you, tempting you to go to sleep. We had a challenge of um, water. To me, I was like, I was like, and uh, you can't go to study So that was another challenge that we faced. But I want to thank God that regardless of these challenges, we still managed to pass. Another challenge that, that then Master mentioned was the challenge of the lab. We have one lab that accommodates all 600 students. That is not easy to go by. You want to study, you want to attend a lesson in the lab, but in another class also has a lesson there. I think my fellow science students would agree. Many a time we often had conflicts with form threes, form fours, form twos over the lab. So it would be my pleasure to see two or three more labs considered at the school so that learning for science students would become easier. I want to tell you that um, <clears throat> Challenges make it the man. They improve you. They allow you to face more hardships in life. 
When I look at Ruya, I don't just see a school. I see an academy that brings forth well-grounded students. Amen. I see an academy that brings forth Christians. Amen. I see an academy that brings forth people who change the world. Yes. When I look at you all right now, let me tell you my personal philosophy. Everyone is born extraordinary, but some choose to live ordinary lives. Allow me to report, allow me to repeat, excuse me. Everyone is born extraordinary, but some choose to live ordinary lives. God does not wish for you and I to live ordinary lives. It takes to be extraordinary to be a Christian. Because the moment that you rely on God, your life is never ordinary. The Adventist education system reflects the heavenly society God intended for us. It gives us tools and resources to become wiser and healthier. It provides us opportunities to look beyond ourselves and to serve others. It connects us as friends, as partners, and as a community. As much as it lies within your ability, get an Adventist education. <laughs> Tunakutenda mwari atisanga nisazwe mkati meviki rechipiri chichikurukura norondo ye missionary achiri mupenya alikutuudza mafambiro nekudana kwa kaitwa na mwari pastor Clifford chaukura tochinga mizaizwa kare mfundisi 
Thank you, Pastor. Amen. Amen. Yeah, it's a nice day again Amen. to meet you. Amen. Amen. Uh, Amen. 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 Yes, in the Gadiz, the name Maria Marie, it was a miracle that happened in Gonzar Sinamar. In Beria, the Shan Sogunzoguti, the Toyuana Marie, so it was the family, the Atuana Marie, the Majura family. Takaenda, I see Pastor Vandagaita interview. Wakas, you're at Samba Gati, Musawi and Muri, because accommodation in Kunoku, Kumaenza, Ninga Muri, one. I see the Katara names my Agati. Ah, I'm not convinced. We decided to know when in the Gam mm. Sana, Kanaguti Kurua, mm. Kotai Gara. Ah, mm. that number to eighty and the ten days. Mm. So Taganda Tese, mm. two thousand and three, transport your inmates, sir. Mm-hmm. A Takakura's buzz, Bambaria, Po, Takashika, Kano Raramu, Ublawayo, mm-hmm. e, Parenkini, mm-hmm. e, White as to Ram Bazi, a Takadi was a Gatu and the Pap. Yes, no, so, but as you pin down bars, let your no cho chica shika. Tragamchi one in Muri, a qua giwa, one hour past a giwa, and I don't know why. The little bit giwa was the lecturer there. Names my wa was so taka shika shkanzi. All right, Manguana, which is the end of the office, Tarashka is Sunday. Monday, but I end up office. Zarango Barone, quite papo, Tarashan, and the Chaguti. Ragat, ah, Clifford Chaukura, okay. Eh, your house number MSQ 11B. Hmm. Ah! I see the damn zico. Plumbing your child also. You got to know. The zoom was. Maranzo. But I put a key. As a mayor, China mayor, no Chabala. We are from Zambia. You actually got it. So, when I don't know now, I give and get it. You can't have MSQ 11B. You can't scoop it. Yes. Hey. 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 So, Samba Hey. 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 Instead of four years, I am the first person I got three years. Mm. In the drama overloads, 21 credits, 22 mm. credits. Which summer school, mm. so we are going to sponsorship in this table. Now you don't cast your pets. Hey, hey, Saka, Saka, you think I break a record? Yes. Think I pets are all within three years. Mm. Degree there four years. Mm. Mm-hmm. Eh, yes, did you pets are? Yeah. I was also a leader there, the Andri Ed Deacon. Okay. Muchechi. Mm-hmm. And then I ku academics. The guy started on a man gaining who are in charge of uh yeah in the healthy living. Healthy mm-hmm. living. Mm-hmm. Yeah, title exercise was saying mm-hmm. I was a yeah, assistant. Mm-hmm. And then I was my lecturer why in the but why in the Pabasari Kumaka. I was their reader. Mm-hmm. But she did better to marry. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. it depends that 2005, eh, because the office here got a kuna basa. No, but Takazo it out in Diwane bas, Takazo Zwanda Kuchagua, na executive secretary. Mm. Eh, eh, hey, but it, uh, we have interview. Okay. Yes, that was Dr. Mtanga. Mm-hmm. No, but mm-hmm. I ended up interview. I am the first pastor. To be interviewed in the system. Mm. Mm, that's the record also. Mm. Mm. So, the Funga Nukuti would require to walk out in a fundis. So, I got to go on a chaukura. As Pastor Ellen Moyonga has a recommendation, he has a That man must be applauded. His ministry mm. Mm. Eh, still impacts our family. Mm. Mm. Eh, mm. The president was uh, Dr. Jonathan. Mm-hmm. Eh, Zuma. Mm-hmm. Tukandewa kandi interviewa. Biza basa. Mm-hmm. Eh, tuka shanda tuka enda tuka kwa nyawa hiko kwa nanda zokera. Tuka tuka kuweza. Our first district okay. was weza. Okay. Okay. 
That was first district la pasta garwe vakare wa indi taura wachiti ya district ro 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 shanti kasi wakanak. Macheche sana masai me me tad road. Mkuu chipende reya me kwenye dagusi yambo. So but as a transfer kwenye our conference, that's when I was called to become an assistant publishing director. Okay, okay. Saka ku kuweza ukumakasha na makuu mangani. Kuweza andrea bopi zagori. Oh. That was two thousand five. And then 2006, Pachitanga, hmm. Takaga Dato, Assistant Publishing Director. Yeah, yeah. Powerful. Rekuda kwe Powerful. Basara Ndaingi Ndaita. Powerful. Rekuda. Previously. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Relative mm-hmm. Minister. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Powerful. Powerful. So, Powerful. from there, mm-hmm. Takazo, 2009, mm-hmm. Takawana Pastor Chifamba waku ya wachiti Shamari. Mm-hmm. Kwa rusa pe, Tudakuti, in case, Ondao gazi rajimwe komiti chaita decision that mm-hmm. funga tu funga zako zigazi tu ungango no shanda kwa rusap kwa rusap kati ya ajaga na kwa wundi na matira so 2009 uh, one February mm. tagata tu kwa rusap kwa rusap down the district mm. yes mm. so that's the year I began to write books. Mm. Before I went to Rusape, I got to go to Bugu Rakans in Yasha Zaranduan. Amen. I got to go to Kurinura. Amen. 2008. Saga Saga Muri 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 Assistant Publishing Director. Fungwa Zekunura. Eh. Why list Kunema Bukaru Bakunze? Chi Chaka Chaka Dakuti, Mimi Muchi Cookie Zana. Pana Gunura Navan Peu, Nani, Mimi Muda would pin the way Momo. One of Barty, one doubt pin the Pama Monia, Papa. Just a radical food. Susumanje, Tai, one of the Zipore, she did those by bed. Okay, okay. So I'm going to go for now. This was by Berakuna, this he told him in the assistant. Saka Kusikandati. There was a need. There was a need. Powerful. Do it as say, Sagada and Afunga put it. Regain in your mhm. by big. I see. Zuchita Sekunozi, a book or anti gutanga. Sagasu Zizo, the by big. Zutanga neka anecdotes, canonica story, cano impress. For example, Zutara yam temu in a gun. Mhm. The Kanyo am sorry good taku upi watch. Mhm. A patch Kwanda idzidza kuti ngaku ine mukoma na idzitaku neumwe idzitaku uya idzitaku dzwa uya idzitakunda saka pano nziri mwezi wa assembly zvakanzi taku gasare saka vanhu vakanetsika kuti taku upi wacho ndobva vasara vana taku vari 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 two saka nyaedu iri kuti pamtengu iri bible paura utara kuti pamurairo ati zvipamurairo pano kuti pamurairo Imwe ngwa kutaura the moral law, the Ten Commandments. Mm. Imwe ngwa kutaura pa msoro pei ceremony mm. ya mitemo ya Moses mm. ya kakumira pa mchinji kwa. Saka pane kufiringana, hey, hey. ne kupiringishana. Ndwa vada saka taku upi watu, na uvada tanga kuma ceremony ya Lord. Mm. Mitemo ya kakumira pa mchinji kwa. Mm. Zuno riri. Ndwa kufata ti deipi achu. Mm. Takuwa nza asare nde upi, asara pa mchinji kwa. Tova tayi nda kuna wakoro setu. Mm. Nesia 16 mm. chitzika. Mm. Na pari kikuwa nana nuku tonga pale mm. zoku jika. Pale mm. zoku nwa. Mm-hmm. Pa gara kwe mwe zile pa mwe. Pa sabata. Pa sabata. Saka wano wakuto toro wajiti. Vye takuwa kano kwa mshini jikuwa. Mm. Mitemo mwara walo. Mm. Tenda na James 2 vesia 10. Kuti mitemo hii. Icha shanti swa. Mm-hmm. Kuti mm-hmm. tonga. Mm-hmm. Pa judgment. Hii piyashu. Amen. Saka takuto tara mtemo hini gumi. Mm. Ne hii. Hmm. Saka every chapter ino tanga ichipaka story kano ito atika tracti Amen so, Watere li tipane chini chatu kuona Mwara chitibatisira kuti Mwara no shanda nenzira zagasiana mm-hmm. Zimwe zipo mwari zaano tipa Tine nge taka zikarira kisinga zi mm-hmm. Ndrungo imagina fundis Vikila pera magata wala nye FC ya basa kwa magasia mm-hmm. Nde kamba na yamche chibu ya vara Hizo vara o Le musina kuwaru koko wa maka piwa Mm-hmm. Chipo ichi maichisha ndi sila kubi Andi mburuko na yeah, manje yeah, Uno yeah. wa mbunzo Uno sara wakati koshera, wakati koshera. Mm-hmm. So mfundi si mataura niku nyora mm-hmm. Mataura muri undergrad Mapeza undergrad yenyo mm-hmm. Maenda kwa, kwa rusape manje mm-hmm. Kwa rusape yes. Mashanda nguwe ya kariba si kwa rusape Kwa rusape was 4 years 2009 mm-hmm. to 2012 mm-hmm. 
kwa kuzofonerwa na Dr. Robert Mzira ndiri kutova kwa goi kwa gwasira ndandi ndaenda chino graduate sawano we ndandi anonzi mukuru ali kashedzwa pa graduation eh guest of honor guest of honor mhm pa chikoro ipapo tsakadova doctor dzoka ndina pastor bonde who was the district pastor vandafonerwa and the doctor Mzira pamuri pakana akaherere kuti ari gaindi pake ndaburuka zvikanze ah conference committee yagarapasi mm. murudi kana kuno ku 1 december mm. that was in october mm. yes saka october 2012 so ndo maori ndakaita mm. as the director of publishing publishing ministry. Ministry. this is about a conference amen. imagine amen among us oh wakanga mm. wanditangira ndakango mm. to ah ndezva david kushedzwa mm. kumafuro mm. kuti uya Mm. So ndo maori ndakazoita pa conference ndikashanda for 11 years mm. ndiri pa basa shindiro eh eh pa basa director amen yes. amen amen mm-hmm. saka iko zvino makupimfundisa kwa kuzodanwa ku Dharma Force district mm-hmm. eh eh the opposite rua amen ndo kwa ndi ndakauya imo mo 20 uh, 22 powerful mm-hmm. powerful so mapedza mm-hmm. eh Uh, undergrad yenyu mm-hmm. ndotenda kuti pane zvamaka zvaita futi nefundo mm-hmm. mukaramba muchienda muchienda mberi nekunyora oh, yes. fundo makaita zvipi fundo ndoda kutenda dr robert mzira mm-hmm. wakati ratidza hey, eh ya advertiser mm-hmm. kuti anoda kuita masters university of africa yes irukinya oh, for data oh. masters tora ima forms aya mufile vanda fill over taendesa so uh, was two, um, 2010 kupataka mm. enda 2009 kupataka apply mm. 2010 vataenda mm. ta 2019 pastors mm. in all yeah yeah we need yes at least ta zunza ta yeah yeah e pale history yacho ipa so dikaita wa masters yangu iko kone vamwe ikaita four years mhm ndo kuzotora imwe masters zvakare ye public oh. health powerful eh Yekutanga yanga ili leadership mm-hmm. ye masters of public health mm. ikaita dzimwe four years amen but just a yenda tichi amen chidzoka tichienda tichidzoka amen mm-hmm. saka naurira ndo yekunyura imfundisi mm-hmm. yakaramba ichienda mberi yes even iko ko every year ndaibudisa mm-hmm. book wow kubva 2009 wow saka inspiration yekunyora i yaka vp ndo zvinogura mvunzo ndo zvikako dai good good <laughs> chekutanga mm-hmm tawo na need ye book ile yari ya tizo che bible ndikanyora ile rakanzi nyasha dzakandiwana ndakaisa ma doctrines mashoma nini ha hana kuzokuita wose ndakatarisa book ra pastor Rosalie tarira ano ya rine picture ya Jesus achidzika nengiros ndo banda wabvunza ndikanyora wose wakandibatsira so tingati he was the human inspiration and then Dr Mzira vai kokurudzira akawanda kuda nerimwe bhokot keep on writing mm. pastor chifamba pandai nyora rimwe bhoku daenda naro kwa wari ndoti iri bhoku itaiwa kuti rizikane nema pastor zvikanzi system yedu unoiziva mm. asi awakato printa ivewe atenges ovha wana matira mm. saka vanhu vaindi simbisa iwa wao mm. pastor chifamba dr mzira mm-hmm. And then Dr Jonathan Moyo uh, no mm-hmm. Musos mm-hmm. pandaka zonyora rakanzi Africa's priceless heritage mm. which is uh, on the internet yeah mm. you know one hip hop africa's priceless heritage mm. you can buy it online mm. uh, wakati ndo vakabatsira kunyora introduction mm. yacho mm. mm. riri kuti simbi sa kuti vanhu africa mm. you were there by god designed mm-hmm. it's not by default mm-hmm. god designed mm-hmm. in his plan mm-hmm. mm-hmm. saka so, tumu master plan hombe yani mm-hmm. Yamwari. Pandaka nori advertiser ku Helder Bay College. Mm. E vanhu vakati vada pedza ma students akauya kudhonkwa vakati are you lecturing at Solusi? Mm. But no I'm not. <laughs> Because mm. your masterpiece is full of a lot of uh, sense mm. and research. Mm. Because uh, it's really full of research. Rota around Africa was the first superpower mm. before America. Mm. Besides being the first continent appearing in the bible mm. na genesis 1 mm. 2 mm. nendi zidzi adza tinoona mhm mhm ma africans ano features zvakanyanya bible throughout and they were part of uh, 
uh, the children of Israel. Watch what Bazira Muga Muga Cheleches are going to be Bob, a Rabatra who scout could Israel. If found the Chiambuka each day, quite green African. I took a mirror on Moses. I told her to Takafa Bani Papa, so Africa's yeah. priceless heritage yeah. is full yeah. of uh, God's intentions yeah. for Africa. Yeah. Yeah. And um, uh, greatest inventions for all information, they are coming from Africa. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. the Maya invented the mathematics, mm -hmm. hieroglyphics in Egypt, the Egyptians, Shaduf irrigation system, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and also mm -hmm. uh, the first Yakuz uh, aircraft, Yaka Onekwa, Munomo Africa. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So, aerodynamics, Zaka Tangera put in Munomo Africa. Munomo Africa. The Powerful. First physicians. Powerful. Kungo Titagazo, Tore Ramas, Taiwa, Aka, and this for Oko. Also, we are a package, but New York, Western world. Mm. So, the other book, that was in 2010, mm. the other book came, uh, Jehovah and Yemfu Zwang. Mm -hmm. uh, everyone can write a story about uh, their lives. Actually, that is what Jehovah, Aka, and Funza say. Skyrolanda is a testimony. A good Maraka and the Gira say. They found out that Parara Mota. A three quarters up at two thousand and nine. Mm. Tango May, eleven May, three times my efforts that I saw my efforts for of Engere two, mm. mm. Ukuma Vazua mm. two. Sakataka, two mm. money going to do five four four. Yes, in Nims, my own Gagari won and gone in Zashi. So the Nemanga my evangelist, a Tagapona, Scandalian testimony, Imo, but testimony my Jinji, a Yasha Zamat, Adam Gura Kanzi, Jehovah, Jim Futuang. Amen. The Lord is my shepherd, a verse by verse interpretation. But mm -hmm. the Palestinian environment, mm -hmm. uh, King David. Mm -hmm. widow, widow and single parent in the book. The Gakuran children my Pasina Baba, Saka Daira Tizawan, Zunoit. And the one you are more than other. The gas on your account, the prisoners need mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. of Christ. He mm -hmm. the doctor desires land. Can't you write something about mm -hmm. prison ministry? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. dog van that you mean you must write the introduction. Mm -hmm. We got introduction. Mm -hmm. uh, doctor desires land there. Yeah, so my topics are removed. Ano batsira wanu, kuti wagazi ni kusungwa, ni kuti kusungwa akurewe kuti une mosha, kupida mjeri akurewe kuti une mosha, kune warimu asina mosha, wariku nze, wane mosha. Saka rino batsira kutiti gazi ni, and then kutiti sitse o message i, ye God's grace, kune wanu warimu prison. Yeah, and yeah, uh, for two dollars yeah. you can reach many. Mm -hmm, yes, no, I'm going to ask you, Nora. Because Nora can see the profit. Next ship of changing. He repassed the no bad Sravano. When the shoe could have quit her, Kuana suppose him where. Because first Corinthians 14, you know, Shingare, I suppose him where, first one. As a school chip, chop profit. A Tigamana same profit, Chokwadi, Irakoa, because of a crisis, your profit our young Samuel, profit our name. We are not about Rama Tampu, the Gatu Sangan and now, Mopenu, Muno, Anos, Muzana, Anos, Pera say. Ramana Batari, God will take care of you. E Bukur and Daka and Yoranda are good. Rimuratai, Famba Naro is rich evangelist, a re bereavement counseling. Raganga Risi Gachawaniku, a Sagandakanyo Rafuti Iri. Amen. E grief counseling a Shaikirwa. Amen. Rechisho Naracho, Radaga translator from De Kunyara Zwa. We are Karaski, or no Karaski, or Nemume, Namzmai, whom I used to know as Kuanem Komana, Karam Scana. Through accident, through death, mm. or through torrent, mm. never a change. I don't a change. You didn't know when you are that day. Yeah, who told you? Palm, powerful, powerful. Someone attended when I married. Chim Funza to Sagandofa and Bassay. You know, but Sarah is a cup and amway gagger. So I was like, I see a book. You know, amen. One, one was when you have griever after the funeral. So I book you, but Sarah Kawanda and Rikona and one for feedback. Mm. What she told her, Bukurakati Yaraza. Mm. Then Rakazo, we are equal Zunoi. 
virtuous African woman. Mm. Ratarisa Proverbs 31. Mm. Do good to in our African context. Murora mm. notarisa. Akaita say, I know Suga Dukere, Kanakutano, Zio Gama. Which is a need. She pangwaza a real need. Normally, Uchinora, you must scratch where it is itching. Notarisa on by Bermuno, Eremans, Maya, Kanga, Baku Africa, who were very illustrious. And then Yaya, Zio, I remember to Anatarisao. Zakaita say, Kumzimae wa Nasi, we munomo Africa, and not Gambora, Neve, which captured you know, a hair. So you know, really, Reno Batsiraj Guru, Karamanena Dakuru, Gata and Gambeta, and more counseling. Up in the Ari Redi, Neva Amo, Reno of section Yana, Naomi and Ruth, you know, Batsirapa, Ama widows, and widowers also. Yes. Ah, what is it? Ipuma. Ya kaiso naka. Ya vakuna pasta cha ukura. Amen. Nekuda kwe noro onde open wawo. Amen. In your ministry ni mfundisi. Mm -hmm. Are there any challenges za munoti takasanga na nazima mbota wala nye accident mm -hmm. kuziri wako maka itana mwari. Mm -hmm. Are there any other challenges za munu guna maka sanga na nazo mm -hmm. za mwari za munoti ndi mwari akatibatira mm -hmm. pama situation haya? Ya. Yeah. Mwana wenu kutanga um, Sharon. Mm. E, sister Karara mwapenyu wechiwa no chayesu chayesu. Mm. Cultural approach. Mm. So, pakuno rati za wabere yiki. Dye msikana nda kudana na yendisa nda tomu visira mari. Daka itaji. E, deni arorwa. Akapere kwa. E, deni tika zeita kuti. Aendeo ampo peza achingua. Mm. Achitamba urora. Mm. <laughs> Waka shita iso so. Mm. Yes, 1993. Mm -hmm. So, what is it? 1995. Mm -hmm. Tani Sharon. I was in the house. 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 I was in the Saka, the whole family uh, suffered from that poison. Mm. Nga phone nero wazi kanza mzimai ne mwana wali kuchipata. Mm. Wanda mission mai wako na, na mbuya. Ndiwa wasina kuya ya kwa fitwa. Mm. Asa wapaina, wapaina futi mzimai wali uwe ya mzwa zihamai. Mm. Akanga ina futi mchipata. Mm. So, daka muda mu office. Mm. Likano pinda kubatu mbundino na matandega. Mm. A serious prayer. Ya wana kumpira kubasa nda wana kwe nda jidu ndi manjire nyaye. So, daka shika ku bonda mission. Mm. Uchinzi, ah, ndi mkwa bawa Sharon. Mm. Kati, eh, uchinzi, ah, tine uro mbo Sharon ha shaiku. Mm. Eh, eh, so, mm. ndo kupanda continue. Wanda sangana na mai nini, mwini ina wa mai. Waganga wa enda na mai Sharon na Sharon mchupata. Mm. Kaza, ah, marasha anda. Mm. Zaha, zaha shata, wanangu. Oh, Kaza, I got a lack of a moon. So, Mari. Sharon was saved by God. Amen. From that poison. Amen. Was on white amass. Wow, I mm. So, Rogor Wamar. Mm. My work was saved by God. Amen. To Kaza, I go my arch tender rainbow. Ninga Zota, I say, could have a bar Sharon. Put to my na, Apana. Fugans, she was zero or put in your watch got poison. Mana, Ara, my watch patrol was sat. So that's one. And then he zimwe manch. Zivan Vakanga was she Funga put to Varquita Shakanak. Vachindi Visa, Basarama. It's the notes are one. Eh, no good to the car, Tunga Mira Kungo, a carrier, but of Funga. The African proverb, you know, Shanda, uh, if you see a bed staying too long on a tree, mm. it's inviting a storm. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I didn't stay too long on that mm. branch. He mm. was a director for 11 years. So I was going to say, I was within the system. I was going to say, 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 Mm. Munjo zizo zo zo se ndoto na wati Apa ndakanda to Ndi mwari yeah. mm. Mbani pangu ndakato ya so Uzwane mwe shkansi 
Changwa wa wa tumirwa e muteo mm. eh eh u tambo wa changira ku congress iyo iyo yanga iri whisper congress mm. mm -hmm. saka zvakawa nda zvandai basi mm. wanamwari kuti mm. chairwa zvandai chekuti ine ngai miteo iri kubva mm. kune wa onodya nao mm. mundiro mm. imwe chete oh, amen yeah yes tote da mwari mukuvharira mfundishi ndi api wa mashoko amukade kukwidzira nengo pangwa dzatiri madziro mhm mm ne wafundisi ne ma families mhm mm kuva involved mukati mune basa ra mwari mupfupi thank you pastor eh kana mukacherechedza nyaye kufamba ne bible ne buku ra mwari literature mm -hmm. ministry mm -hmm. because simbare sangano riri muzvinyorwa zvacho amen amen masangano akasimba munona ane zvinyorwa amen E redu laka simba kufura wose mm. nekuda kwe zunyorwa. Mm -hmm. Pano ya mepo uru, mm -hmm. zunyorwa zuno misa. Mm -hmm. Speak to prophecy, mm -hmm. e, ni mawe atino shanda na oma buku mm -hmm. family ministries. Mm -hmm. Saka ininda iti pandona matira wanu, mm -hmm. wanema special request. Ndaiwe zero request yangu ipapo, ndona amata. Mm -hmm. Kwa shinji watu waizu, ya ni matestimoni kuti, a, mna matu enyu ya waya waka pindurwa mm -hmm. na nasi. Mm -hmm. Zukuru zira wanu kuti werenga ima buku kuseni, Amen. Mwerega msati marara. Mm. Kwa ya mwerega maka mwerega mkiu, mwerega ya mabuku. Mm. Juno kubati sirai. Sia nae ni whatsapp. Mm. Mabuku ya mwerega kusebe zai. Pana mwari. And then, mm. uri mtege. Endani mwerega kuzongo. Sia pa siti kana mpasa mm. mwani. Mm. Uri mbazi kana mkombi. Raonega wa mwerega sira umwe mwerega. Mm. E, Fambi sa evangeli mwerega zanezo wakanyo. Amen. The fields are white. Wajinji wana kukwa wa mwerega. Wanu da kwa wele ende aka femel wana mari mwaraka wa femel mm -hmm. ano wa femel apa kuerengwa kwa o magwaro iwa amen. amen yes the literature amen. ministry will finish the work amen mapupi ta varwa mm -hmm. buku rinenge richango famba richiparidza nguwa nenguwa kusukira jesa ati zvaitwa zvapera amen amen toba kutenda vatereri mukati me maviti maviri tanga tina pasta Clifford Chaukura, tawa noro onde ope nyo hawa, kudano wana mwari. Uye zine magwaro, awaka nyora ni kufamba na upangu wa zawari maziri. Mwari kudenga ukumburi rinfundisi. Aleluya. Aramba chikutira shakanaka, tina Amen. matireri. Ngati yu ene nguwe kuna mati. Baba yu ene kudenga tuku chendai. Nguwe ya mati pa utitawari pa msoro. Pesi mbare nyura ishanda muka tumima mission centers. Andaka pinda. Mm. Simbare nyu na nasi liku shanda neni. Ewa jinji wa rukufamba ni vangeri renyu ni moyo wese. Mm. Kudanu wako umwendo umwe kwa kasiana. Kudana matira kutu umwendo umwe hale mekezi. Kudanu wako ambi. Amen. Amen. Aku ito uchika mchake. Achi ni mpenyu. Ringwe zua. Kune umwe munu. Achati. Denu wanga usiri wewe. Ndisi na kupone. Swa. Mm. Mustara jesu mpone suwebi. Amen. 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 Watereri, ngati sanganeshi, mkati mefiki notewira, tiri pachurongwa, missionary story. Mwara chitwe shakanaka. Amen. Inzo chesu oda izam, diani osewe nzam, minda yese ya toivam, diani Chakovam Get
Hello, this is Jehovah Shalom a cappella Uganda, and we are going to praise and worship in different hymns. And the first song that we can perform is How Great Thou Art. Amen. Oh Lord, my God, when I in ocean wonder. Consider thy words, thy hands have made. I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder. The
City Butte, oh City Butte, for Square. Wow. Amen. Amen. And we'll sit down. Yeah. By the river. Can we repeat that? Yeah, sure. 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 I'll meet you in the meet morning. You in the morning. Meet you in the morning. With the how to brother. You do. With the how. With the how do you do? How do you do? <laughs> and we'll sit, sit down. down by the river. By the sit river. Sit down by the river. And we'll rush of the rapture is renewed is renewed me in the morning in the morning me in the morning smile that I wait smile that I wait when I meet you song that we're going to do yes. is entitled because he lives wow you can face your tomorrow i can face my tomorrow amen i fear not because he lives amen. god's son is son and they call him jesus he came to die. Heal and forgive. He lived and died to bind my pardon An empty grave is there to prove. My Savior lives, sing with me, because He lives, because He lives, I can face tomorrow, because He lives, because He lives, all fear is gone, because, because I I was 
Life is worth it's what a living just and life, and life is worth what a living just and life is worth it's what a living just because it Titled, yes, my dear friend. Like one piece. One piece like a river. Like a river. Okay. Really? Really? Yeah, okay. really. But before that, there's a song that I was thinking about, mm-hmm. and it has these words for whatever it takes mm. to be like you, Jesus. That is what I'm willing to do. Yeah. I'll trade sunshine for rain. Comfort for pain. Oh my God. I wish we sing that song. A voice. Yes, there's a voice. Calling me. There's a voice calling me from an old dragon tree. Whispers draw closer to me.
song in Luganda uh, that is called it's hymn number I don't remember the hymn yes yes it's a hymn for the Nyusa, echo chisinga tinze kwa gana Anja gana yesu Anja gana Anja gana Anja gana Anja gana Chitalo Kunja gana Anja gana yesu Anja gana Anja gana Anja gana Ena nange Kamwa gane Anja gana yesu Anja gana Jesus' love. Amen. And now I will sing. 
Yes. Oh, tell it on the mountain. 
I'll take that Jesus Christ is born. I have a joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Down in my heart. Down in my heart. I have a joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Down in my heart to stay. Hey, I am so happy. So very happy, I have the love of Jesus in my heart. I am so happy, so very happy, I have the love of Jesus in my heart. There is power, power, wonder working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power. Wonder walking power in the precious blood of the Lamb. When the robe is called a pure, is called a pure. When the robe is called a pure, when the robe is called a pure. When the robe is called a pure. This is my soul, is 
My prayer that I find you well. I pray that in the second month of the year, the Lord is with you. And I pray that you are beginning this year very well. And I pray that as we go through the year, all shall be ordered according to your plans, resolutions, and expectations. Our sermon today is entitled Truth About Angels. Now, this is one of many sermons that I wish to have us share on the same subject. I pray that as we share this one, you'll be able to follow it. And I also pray that as we look at the other sections of the series, you will also have the chance to tune in and also learn from the same. But before we get into the word for today, I want to request that we pause together and have some time to pray. Let us pray. Dear God in heaven, thank you for this special privilege of giving us this morning to come before you and to talk to you in prayer. I pray that you may bless your word as we break the bread of life, that your presence may be with us. Help us to understand, help us to be able to apply and I pray that a conviction may be built in our hearts that we may learn to fear you and to prepare for your soon return. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. Truth about angels. Let me draw your attention to the book of Hebrews chapter 1, verse number 13 and verse number 14. I pray that you can read with me on your screens. Now I'm reading from my version here. Verse number 13, the Bible reads, But to which of the angels said he at any time, Sit thou on my right hand until I make thine enemies thine footstool. Verse 14. Are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister to those that shall be heirs of salvation? So verse 13 and verse number 14 of the book of Hebrews introduces us to a discussion on angels. Verse 13 says, But to which of the angels has he ever said at any time, Sit thou at my right hand, until I make your enemies your footstool. So verse 13 is only functioning in giving us the context of the discussion. 
Now, when we get to verse number 14, we are given the definition for an angel, of an angel. Now, when you look at verse number 13, it's just telling us that the subject under discussion is angels. So we read it just to establish a context. But listen to verse number 14, where we get the definition of an angel. Verse 14 says, are they not all, referring to angels, are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for the sake of those that shall inherit salvation? We need to break down that text into smaller pieces so that every one of us may be able to understand. The record says in that text there that angels are ministering spirits. So by nature, angels are spirits. By function, they are ministers. <clears throat> but when you go through the text, it also shows that while they are ministers, they don't just minister to just about anybody. They have a specific area of ministry. They have a specific focus group of ministry. For the text says, are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister to those that shall be heirs of salvation? So by nature, angels are spirits. They are in, in, invisible to human eye. If they remain in that form, it is not possible for us to actually see the presence of angels among us. So they can be present, but you may not be able to know that they are there with you if they remain in spirit form. But the record also says, by function, angels are ministers. And the same text gives us the pericope of their ministry. The record says here, they minister to those or on behalf of those that shall inherit salvation. So when you consider the text here, there are two groups of beings that are mentioned here. There is the first group of beings that are called angels, which are spirits and whose function is ministry. But you also notice there on the same text but that there's also a group known as those that shall inherit salvation. Now, those that shall inherit salvation then become the subject of the ministry of angels. What it therefore implies is that those that shall inherit salvation have a dual benefit. Benefit number one is that they shall inherit salvation. Benefit number two is that as they wait to inherit salvation, they are ministered unto by angels. Our subject is on angels. But in order for us to appreciate the ministry of angels, we need to discuss this subject in the context of those that shall inherit salvation. In the context of the work of angels in, uh, in relation to their ministry to you and me that shall inherit salvation. So the record says here, those that shall inherit salvation are ministered unto by angels. And like I've said, they benefit twice. They benefit in that they shall inherit salvation. But number two, as they wait to inherit salvation, they are ministered unto by angels. For that reason, it means those that shall inherit salvation benefit in the here to benefit again in the hereafter. They benefit in this life to benefit again in the life to come. They benefit now to benefit again later. They shall inherit salvation. But as they wait to inherit salvation, they are covered by angels in this life. So they are covered now in this life to be covered again in the life to come. When there is witchcraft, they are covered by angels. When someone casts spells on them, they are covered by angels. When someone curses them, they are covered by angels. After they are, be, they are done being covered in this life, they will again get, get served. So they are covered now to be covered later. They have a dual benefit. And in the same sense, those that shall not inherit salvation have a dual loss. Loss number one is that they will not inherit salvation. Loss number two, as they wait not to inherit salvation, they are not covered by angels. My prayer is that as I speak to you this morning, my prayer is that you're, you, are, you are one of those that shall inherit salvation such that you will benefit in this life to benefit later. And the focus for this discussion is not on those that shall not inherit salvation, but is on those that shall inherit salvation, for they are the primary focus of the ministry of angels. Ellen White writes in one of my favorite books, Truth About Angels, in the very first chapter, she says, from the foundation of the earth, 
there's been a constant interaction between the visible and the invisible. So she goes on to explain the two, and she says the visible remains, refers to you and I, and the invisible refers to angels, both the ones that are loyal to God and those that rebelled against God. So writing to us, Sister White, in the first chapter of the book, Truth About Angels, she says right from the foundation of the earth, there's been a constant interaction between the invisible and the visible. Now the invisible being divided into two, the, the invisible good, meaning angels of God, and the invisible bad, meaning demons or angels of the evil one. So there's a constant uh, exchange, there's a constant interaction between the two groups. And so Ellen White writes to us and says, those that are alive, you and I that are visible, we have been followed all our lives, either by good angels or by the evil ones. You know, there's an African thinking that an African is always being followed. I want you to know, friends, that is actually correct according to this uh, text that we get from the book Truth About Angels, that you have always been followed right from the first day of your conception or inception on earth. You have been followed either by good angels or by bad angels. So she writes to us and she says, right from the foundation of the earth, there's, there's been a constant interaction between the good angels, the bad angels, and you. So what it therefore implies, my brother and my sister, is that you have been followed by bad angels just in the same sense as you have been followed by bad angels. Just in the same sense as you have been followed even by the good angels. And I love what Ellen White uh, goes, on, goes on to say in also the book Last Day Events here, where she says something very interesting that I'm thinking that would be important even for your learning as we read today. Ellen White writes in the book Last Day Events, and she says here, we will, she says something interesting here. She says, from what dangers, seen and unseen, we have been preserved through the interposition of angels. Now, this quotation is found in Last Day Events 298, paragraph 3. She says, from what dangers, seen and unseen, we have been preserved through the interposition of angels. So in, in one quotation, she says, right from the foundation of the earth, right from the uh, conception of things, there's been a constant interaction between the visible and the invisible. And then she goes on to write, and she says, from what dangers, known and unknown, from what dangers, seen and unseen, we have been preserved through the interposition of angels. In other words, although evil angels have been following us all our lives. We have been preserved through the interposition of the good angels. So good angels have constantly been coming on our behalf. Our subject is truth about angels. The focus is the ministry of angels in the life of the believer. Right from the foundation of the earth, a constant interaction. And we have been taught that several times from danger seen and unseen, we have been preserved through the interposition of good angels. So many times, good angels intervened on our behalf and we were not able to see it. And she goes on to say in the same quotation, 298, last day events, paragraph 3, that we will only be able to understand that in the light of eternity. Ellen White also writes in the book, last day events, 298 again, but this time I'm reading paragraph number 2. Now this is one of my favorite paragraphs and I want to request that you follow through even as I read it together with you. She says here, every redeemed one will understand the ministry of angels in his own life. Now listen to this one. She's speaking of us after we have been served. When we are living in heaven with God. She says here, every one of us who would have been redeemed at that time will understand the ministry of angels in his own life. So there's been an active ministry of angels in your life an active ministry of angels in my life. And every one of us will understand the ministry of angels in our lives. She goes on to say in the same chapter, the angel who was his guardian from his earliest moment, the angel who walked his steps and covered his head in the day of Peru, the angel who was with him in the valley of the shadow of death, the angel who marked his resting place that same angel will greet him in the resurrection morning. So she's making reference to somebody here and also to you and I. And she says, the angel 
who was with your, your guardian from your earliest moment. So in other words, what this text is saying here is that every one of us, from the day we believe, from the earliest day of our belief, there's been an angel assigned by God to be our guardian. So when I follow this text, I bless the Lord because it shows me that the minister of angels is very active in my life. Right from the earliest day of my belief, angels have followed me. Angels have watched over me during the day. Angels have watched over me during the night. Angels have followed me during the, the, the afternoon. Angels have been with me during the morning. Angels have been with me in good moments. Angels have been with me even during bad moments. The record says here from this text that the angel who has been your guardian from your earliest days. So right from the earliest day of one's belief, the Lord assigned or has assigned an angel to follow believers. Now when you look at the, or at the quotation here, it also shows us what different other circumstances and moments where angels have also followed believers. Remember the record from Hebrews chapter 1, verse 14 says, they minister on behalf of those that shall inherit salvation. Now listen to this one. Let's look at the circumstances and the instances when angels have followed those that, that fear God and those that shall inherit are the kingdom of God. Listen to this one. The angel who has been your guardian from your earliest moment, the angel who washed his steps and covered his head in the day of peril. So your angel followed you from your earliest moment. Your angel also covered your steps, um, washed your steps and also covered your head in the day of peril. Listen to this one. That same angel who was with him in the valley of the shadow of death. So even in the darkest moments of our lives, our guardian angels have followed us. Now an important question could be, Lord, I look back at my life and there are certain moments in my life when I was not too clear that you were by my side. I look back and remember that heartbreak. It was so bad that I was quite confident that you had left me. I look back and I see that moment when I lost my parents, I was very confident that you had left me. I look back and I look at that financial reversal. I look back and I see that business failure. I look back and I see all those moments, those unfortunate moments of my life. I look at those moments and I'm very convinced, Lord, that at that time you had left me. But the record from this quotation here says that your angel followed you even in the valley of the shadow of death. The same angel also covered your head in the day of peril. The same angel also washed your foot and saw and washed your foot and saw where you were going. So in that moment where you feared and you thought you were alone, the record says here, when you were in the valley of the shadow of death, you might have thought you were alone. You couldn't see me, but I was right by your side. Angels have followed believers in all circumstances of life. I need to pick a case study for you here. One of my favorite texts comes from the book of 2 Samuel, chapter number 7, verse 8 to verse number 9. 2 Samuel, chapter 7, verse 8 to verse number 9. I want you to listen to this uh, 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 discussion here on David. 2 Samuel, chapter number 7, verse number 8 to verse number 9. The record says, Now then, tell my servant David, this is what the Lord Almighty says. I took you, David, from the pastures, from following the sheep, and I have to appoint you a, a ruler over my people Israel. Listen to verse number 9. But before we get to verse number 9, the Lord is speaking to David through Samuel. He says, David, this is what the Lord is saying. I took you from the pastures where you were following the sheep. And my intention for, 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 for taking you from there was to make you a ruler over my people Israel. Now listen to verse 9. David, I have been with you wherever you have gone. And I've cut off all your enemies from before you. Listen to this one. So the Lord says, David, I have been with you everywhere you have gone. And I've actually cut off your enemies from before you. That I may make you one of the great ones of the earth. But when you consider the life of David, my friends, you will notice that at some point he was almost you know, killed by Saul by using a javelin. His life was a hunted life by, by Saul. There were many moments in his life when things were so bad that even David could not pick where the Lord was by his side, whether the Lord was still with him or the Lord had left him. So David also had his, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me moments? He also had his dark hours 
He was so these unfriendly circumstances of life. But when you consider the text from 2 Samuel here, the Lord is saying, David, even during those times when you were going through your uncomfortable moments of life, when things were so bad and your life was haunted by soul and you were sure that you were alone and deserted, even at that time when you were going through your day of peril, when you were going through your, your shadow of the, of, of the valley of, uh, 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 of death, uh, even in those moments when you were going through such difficult times, David, I was by your side. In fact, I have cut off all your enemies. What the Lord is saying here is that, David, there is never a point in the history of your life when my angels left your side. They followed you wherever you went. You may not have seen them because of the weight of your disappointment, but even in those moments when you couldn't see my angels, they were right by your side. In fact, the enemies that you were able to meet are the few that I allowed. There are many that I cut off and you never got the chance to actually meet them because I cleared them before you came. I have been with you. I've washed your foot. I've covered your head in the day of peril. There was a time when Saul could have crushed you when you were, you know, uh, playing your instrument and he had that javelin in his hand. He could have destroyed you but I covered your head because I had a plan. My angels were always with you. And I know my brothers and my sisters that just like David here, you might also have your, my God, my God, why has thou forsaken me moment? Just that time in your life when things were so dark and you couldn't see God in your situation, when things were so bad and you couldn't see the Lord in your circumstances, when things were so bad and gloomy that you couldn't see where God was. And the Lord is saying even in that moment, I was with you. I covered your head in the day of peril and in the valley of the shadow of death, I've been with you. In your circumstances, sometimes it is the weight of our disappointment that makes us fail to see that the angels of the Lord are round about us, but the angels of the Lord are always there. At some point, there was an experience when Elisha and Gaius were by the mountain, and then they were surrounded by enemies, and they were super afraid, especially Gaius. He was really afraid. Until Elisha makes a prayer and he said, Lord, open the eyes of this young man that he may see. And his eyes were open and the record tells us that when his eyes were open, he was able to see an innumerable company of angels around them. And I want you to know, my brothers and my sisters, that what the record of scripture is saying is that exactly the same thing that the Lord did for Elisha and Gaius, exactly the same thing that the Lord did for them is exactly the same thing that the Lord is doing for you. For as long as you are one of those that shall inherit salvation, the angels of the Lord shall follow you. For as long as you are one of those that shall inherit salvation, the angels of the Lord shall not leave your side. Ellen White writes 298, paragraph 2, last day events. She says, the angel that follows you in your life, he shall follow you until the day you die. So that angel shall follow you until the day you die so that the angel may mark your resting place. So that in the resurrection, that angel may remember where to come and pick you from. I want you to listen to the book of Matthew here, chapter 25, verse number 31. Matthew chapter 25, verse number 31. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. So verse 31 tells us of the coming of Jesus. And the record says, when the Son of Man shall come, and all the holy angels with him. So when Jesus is going to come, he's going to bring all the holy angels with him. Now listen to verse 31 of chapter 24 of the book of Matthew. Verse 31, and he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven, even to the other. So the record tells us here that when Jesus shall come, he is going to bring all the holy angels with him. But Jesus is not going to get to the earth. He will then send his angels to the earth. And it is the function of the angels to gather together the elect of God. Now I need you to note something very interesting here. Ellen White says in the book Last Day Events, the angel that followed you from your infancy is the angel that shall mark your resting place and it shall be the first to greet you in the resurrection morning. So what it means is that that same angel that saw your burying place 
is the same angel that shall assist you in the resurrection. And it is also the same angel when we have been saved that shall take time in heaven to give you a narration of how it interposed for you in all different and difficult circumstances of life. So Hebrews chapter 1 verse 13 and verse 14 says, verse 14 says, Are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister on behalf of those that shall inherit salvation? So your ministry from angels is that they will follow you either from your infancy when you were born or from the day you believed. And for as long as you remain on the cause, they will follow you until the day you die. And they will mark your resting place. So there will be no tomb of the unknown soldier. There will be no tomb of the unknown soldier. It was angels who know where they buried you. And they will, the same angel will also come in the resurrection morning, raise you back to life and help you to heaven and take time with you during eternity to explain to you the various times when angels on your behalf interposed. The Lord has special beings that are called angels and the function of angels is to come through on behalf of those that fear God. The function of these beings that are called angels is to minister to you in this life and minister to you in the life to come. So let's suppose in your area, the serious witchcraft. You don't change residence because the serious witchcraft and wizardry. You remain there because it is the function of the angels to cover you for as long as you're one of those that shall inherit salvation. It is their function to take care of you in this life and in the life to come. Let me draw your attention to yet another quotation here from the book Great Controversy, page 630. The chapter is the time of trouble. Ellen White writes, she says, in all ages, God has wrought through holy angels for the succor and deliverance of his people. Now, succor is the other word for salvation. So the record is saying, right through the ages, God, through the angels, he has wrought for the salvation and deliverance of his people. Listen to this one. She says, yes, celestial beings have taken an active part in the affairs of men. Celestial beings have taken a very active part in the affairs of men, whether they be good affairs or bad affairs, friendly affairs or uncomfortable affairs, even the difficult times that at some point you might have gone through. Celestial beings are very interested in every situation that the people of God are passed through. They have appeared, uh, they have appeared clothed in garments that were shown as lightning. They have come as men in the garb of wayfarers. So Ellen White gives us the different circumstances when angels have come through in our lives. She says at some point they have come in the addressing that looked like lightning. You remember Matthew chapter number 28? There's that example and an angel came in, a, uh, in, a, uh, in the form of lightning. And when you also look at, but she also says, they have sometimes come in the dressing of wayfarers. Wayfarers, the other word for wayfarer is ordinary travelers. She says angels have also come dressed like ordinary travelers. So at some point you were walking about and you saw an ordinary traveler, and according to you, it was just one other traveler, when the Lord had sent an angel to your area to look upon your welfare and to see how you are doing. Record says here, they have, they have appeared in human form to men of God. They have rested as if tired under trees at noon. So angels interact with us on a day-to-day -day basis. I need you to seize the thinking that angels are always somewhere and they come here and there when it's necessary. They are very active in the lives of God's people. Some of the people that you saw and you thought were actually people were angels sent of God. One senior pastor heard this to say in Zimbabwe, Pastor Chifamba says a story at some point. He says at some point he got invited to speak at some place in Botswana. And when he got there, he wasn't too sure how to get to the people that were then going to pick him and take him to where he was supposed to go. But he says as he stands looking for someone to assist, someone approaches him and he says, Ah, oh, Pastor Chifamba, how are you? Did you travel well? And you know, they exchanged greetings. And the gentleman says, This way, please. And then they walk to a place where two other gentlemen were. And when they got to that place, uh, they greeted the other gentleman and then they got into the car. But as they were getting into the car, Pastor notices that it's just those two gentlemen and himself. So he asks the other gentleman, what of the other brother that was with me? And the two brothers said, which other brother are you talking about? And the pastor says, no, that brother that brought me here 
And the gentleman said, no, pastor. We were even wondering how you were able to see us. You actually came here alone. There was no other brother with you. And talking to me the other day, the pastor says, I was very convinced that that must have been an angel of the Lord helping me in my time of need. Angels have appeared in human form to men of God. They have rested as if tired under trees. They have accepted the hospitalities of human homes. They have acted as guides to benighted travelers. Some point when you were lost in that foreign land and you didn't know how to find your way from this point to that point, and that person aided you. It could have been an ordinary person, but I need you to know to discount the fact that it possibly also could have been an angel. Ellen White writes in the book, Great Controversy, page 631, in the form of man, angels are often in the assemblies of the righteous. In the form of man, angels are often present in the assemblies of the righteous. So you are at church and you greet visitors. There is a possibility that one of the visitors is not just a basic or ordinary visitor, but is actually a visitor from heaven. Angels interact and interpose on behalf of the Lord's people. But I need to read this last part as we prepare to close. She says here, writing in the same chapter, she says, but angels also visit the, the company or, or the assemblies of the wicked as they did to Sodom to make a record of their deeds to determine whether they have passed the boundary of God's forbearance. So angels also sometimes do visit even the company of the unrighteous to determine whether the unrighteous have passed the boundary of the forbearance of God. So either way, my brother and my sister, you are visited by angels. Sometimes they visit to succor you. Sometimes they visit to save you. Sometimes they visit to come through for you. Sometimes they visit to interpose on your behalf. But there are times when angels have actually come to take a record of your iniquity just to check if you have not passed the boundary of the forbearance of God. So my prayer for every one of us is that while angels shall visit us in any circumstance, may it be that they visit us so that they would come to interpose on our behalf. They would come to be with us. They would come to strengthen us in our faith and to come through for us in our situation, not to take a record of our wrong deeds. Because when they do take a record of our wrong deeds, they do it with a terrible exactness. Everything they record uh, to the paper, what wrongs we would have done to check if we have not passed the boundary of the forbearance of God. That's why one writer says, when you go to bed, make no mistake of going to bed without praying. But when you pray, do not leave out the prayer of confession. And when you confess, be embarrassingly specific so that the record of all recorded sins against your name may be blotted because angels record with terrible exactness. But why would they do that? My greatest comfort is that they follow me right from my, from my infancy. They follow me in good moments of my life. They follow me in terrible moments of my life. They follow me in the day of peril. They watch my foot as I walk. And when I'm in the valley of the shadow of death, angels are often and always by my side. So whatever situation you're going through, I need you to know that you are not alone. You may not have the company of me or the other members of the church, but you, you have the special presence of the angels of God. Whisper a prayer, they take it to the Lord. Whisper a prayer, the Lord hears your needs. Do not be so despondent and thinking that you are alone when you become despondent and, uh, and worried and thinking that you are alone because the angels of the Lord come through on behalf of those that shall inherit salvation. Whatever circumstance, it is us as friends that leave you, but angels, your special friends, never leave the side of those that are friends of God. But to which of the angels has he ever said, sit thou at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. That's verse 13 of Hebrews chapter 1. Verse 14, are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister on behalf of those that shall inherit salvation? The function of angels, by, by nature, they are spirits. So you don't need to physically see them to know that they are there. By function, they are ministers. Their pericope of ministry is you and I that shall inherit salvation. My prayer for you is that the Lord may keep the company of angels around you. My prayer for you 
is that you may seize that aspect of your life which makes your angels uncomfortable so that they remain by your side and come through for you when they are needed. Let us pray. Father in heaven, thank you for this special privilege to have a conversation with you and to do so in prayer. Thank you for the ministry of angels. Bless us because you are our God. Thank you because they minister to us in this life so we don't need to fear witchcraft and all sorts. Thank you because even if we die, however, they will remember where we are buried and they will not forget us in the resurrection morning. There's no possibility that any of the loved ones long dead shall be missed in the resurrection morning. And therefore, dear Father, help us to live such lives as would make our angels very comfortable, that they remain by our side and that they be with us until the day of we are served. I pray also that they may be with us in every difficult and different situation we face. I also pray that you may give us a physical manifestation of their presence in our lives. Thank you because you are our God, our Lord, and our Savior. May your name be blessed because of the ministry of angels. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Take and shield.